Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So go now Hey humans, welcome back to another video. If you have not noticed, we moved. Um, so we have a whole new background, a whole new setup, and I have so much to talk to you guys about. We need to do a big catch up. So if you wanna continue watching this video as how I do this beautiful makeup look, and I feel like I really snapped on this, really do, um, continue watching. Okay, let's get right into the video. Um, so like I said, I don't wanna use none of these. Unbelievably dirty. Um, like I said in the intro, I moved you guys, and I'm so very, 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 very blessed to be able to have moved um, and have this apartment in my name. It's in my boyfriend's name too, but this is the first apartment I have ever been able to get in my name since my felony, and. I don't know I don't know I I'm gonna try my hardest not to cry as I do my makeup but you guys if you have been following me and if you know you know I have struggled trying to get my own apartment for years like whew, for how many years it's going to be eight years next month since all of the drama all of the bs all of the nonsense that i had to go through um to get to where i am today i am just so grateful and just so i'm just so grateful because this without god this was god like this was god and I'm just so grateful for what he has been able to do for me and what he is continuing to do for me. I'm just I'm just so very, very, very blessed. I have an apartment that I wanted. Um, it was the first pick on my list um, when I applied. Matter of fact, I didn't even have a list. Um, I moved, I was living with my grandparents uh, I was staying over, talk Kiana, talk Kiana, I don't wanna explain this. So I moved out of my previous apartment. Um, in the previous apartment, it was only in my boyfriend's name. It was not in my name. And 2022, whew, 2022 kinda just did a number on me. I was not focused. I was very, very, very much so depressed. Um, I allowed my circumstances to basically control my life and take over my life and yeah so I did not plan I was not responsible I don't know if I'm going to do that there could be so very 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 for real I need to answer this out um, okay perfect um, so yeah I I just struggled a lot and my lease was up in December of 2022 um, and I knew that I did not want to stay there so I told my boyfriend please do not resign this lease I don't want to live here anymore um, I want to move I want to upgrade I want to move and instead of just being faithful and trusting that God was going to figure it out for me I panicked and I basically just tried to do it all on my own which ended me up in not having a place to live <laughs> and having to move on my grandparents for the second time. Um, and I only stayed with my grandparents for, I believe about, um, I only, yeah, I really only stayed with them for two months. Um, I moved in here March 1st. Um, so this is still very, very fresh, very, very new. Um, uh, I'm not gonna like how that dries on my skin i love using got to be glue for my eyebrows i'm able to sculpt my eyebrows in a way that i want to sculpt them but i hate how they how it dries and it flakes it just it pisses me off like no 
end and <laughs> this is the first time in a long time that i'm doing my daggone eyebrows in the video because we all know this will take for freaking ever but i've learned i don't do too much um so yeah back to what i was talking about i um, moved in with my grandparents i stayed with them for about two months and um you know i got an unexpected push and motivation to move um and i had already planned on moving you know i knew that it was time where's my mirror x there's no way absolutely no way i'm gonna be able to do that in the big mirror i knew it was time for me to move um so i had already planned to look at this apartment i saw this apartment while i was at work um and i'll talk about my new job a little bit further into the video but you guys all know i got a new job i talked about it in one of my vlogs i'm super excited about it um i love it it's been doing wonders for me but i saw one i saw this apartment on my way home from work um and i was just like oh this is beautiful i went online and it wasn't this specific apartment it was actually the apartment that is a block away um i saw it online i didn't take any pictures i didn't do anything i just remembered the name um and i went home i looked up the name and kind of damn 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 you done fucked up your eyebrows already and i kind of i looked up the name and i went from there i remembered the area it was in but i didn't remember the name of these actual apartments so i went online and i looked at these apartments i saw the price price kind of scared me a little bit but i was like you know what god i'm just i'm gonna trust you um i prayed on it um i then went to look at it with my um my auntie and when i came to my appointment i loved it this is the unit that i'm in right now is what i looked at when i applied um when i did like a viewing for the apartment and i have a one bedroom one bath but you guys it's perfect um i have a one bedroom one bath and i did not i wanted a deck but i also wanted a space to be able to do my content in um, my previous apartment i had a two bedroom two bath um and i had a bedroom where i was able to do my content i had a, my own studio room um, my boyfriend uh, decided that he was going to put all of his equip music equipment in the bedroom because he hated that all of my stuff was in the living room so he gave me the studio and i was so like lord i cannot afford <laughs> i can't afford not in atlanta that's for sure i can't afford it yet um to have a two bedroom two bath apartment but i want to be able to have something where i'm able to do my content because that is a big part of my life now um i love doing content and i want to get back into doing content so you know i'm just talking about all these things that i want to do uh and i'm just all like i'm gonna trust you and we went from there so i came i looked at the uh, apartment i talked to them and as i was talking to them and we were um going into detail about everything that i need about the apartment i was very upfront and forward with my uh with my family i have no issue talking about it um it is a part of my journey it is something that i had to go through it is a part of my life um so i was very up and forward with him i'm just like hey you know he you know talked about the fact that they have to do a background check i'm just like hey i just want to let you know i have a felony on my record um what are your policies for felonies and he was like um he's like first i want to say thank you so much for being honest because a lot of people do not they're not very forward they don't like to talk about you know those things um and then we do the background check and boom that's what we see and in our mind we're like well why didn't this person tell us that they had this um why did they you know withhold this information because personally to me i mean i know it where the freak is my brush at? i know it's my business and i don't have to tell anybody about it but i feel like jobs and and i know y'all gonna be like it's giving ghosts just 
work with me deal with the process um i feel like with jobs um volunteering businesses things of that nature that is something that you need to be honest about personally that that's how i feel i feel like there's no reason to lie about it because eventually they're going to find out um even if they don't do a background check um even if they do do a background check they will eventually find out you know about what's going on in your life so I was very forward with it he was just like you know what I just want to let you know that I appreciate that um and this is kind of how we, it goes we don't necessarily know and this is something that I was told all the time um when I would apply for apartments out here when I first moved out here and me and my boyfriend were looking for a place uh, we applied in a place in Buckhead and they basically were like well you know we don't necessarily know what can and cannot hinder you from getting an apartment um but you know just apply just apply and i knew that i had had this felony for over seven years and most of the time most of the time apartments don't care about that um once it hits the seven years so i for the first time applied i applied with no fear i applied with um no anxiousness i just was like you know what if it's meant for me it's gonna happen um you know god is going to figure it out for me i have this big old pimple on my face and i hate it so much it's bothering the hell out of me you know it's like god's gonna figure it out i'm just like i'm just gonna give it to him and if it's not meant for me to have this apartment i'm gonna move forward and i'm gonna continue looking um so i looked um i didn't look anymore i applied and y'all the process stressed me out like no other i was like i'm gonna give it to god i'm not gonna stress about it and i stressed about it i was in shambles um when i applied he was like it's only gonna take about you know it only takes about 24 hours to know um whether you got the apartment or not so i i i did my application my boyfriend did his portion of his application boom I didn't hear anything for the first day, so I'm like, okay, you know what, I'm not gonna stress about it. Sometimes it takes up to seven days to, uh, you know, to find out about things. So I'm like, I'm not, I'm not gonna stress about this. I'm just going to, I'm gonna give it to God because if he wants me to live here, he will make a way. And if he doesn't want me to live here, he'll make a way for me to find something else. So I think three days in, I get this email. <laughs> I get this email like congratulations welcome uh to you know where you live at here's the community here is an app to be able to get you know to learn more about your neighbors um this is how you'll pay your rent blah 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 so i'm in my mind thinking like oh my god i got the apartment i praise god i cried i just i just kept saying glory god glory god thank you god thank you god um and you know i was super 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 excited but i did not get an email um stating that i had gotten the apartment so i wouldn't say i panicked but i am virgo i like to be reassured i like to make sure i know Ooh. <laughs> i like to make sure <laughs> You know i know what's going on i want to be prepared things of that nature so i um i called and i let the leasing agency know like hey i got this email um but i haven't gotten an email from you guys stating that i have been approved for the apartment and she's just like well that's kind of weird because um you know we still have here that that's in processing they're still running your background check boom i then went into full panic full kiana panic mode i got sad i got discouraged and um i was just like you know what you know i'm so sad what if i don't get this apartment because by that time after i had gotten that email i was like oh yeah i got it i'm in here i got it i am in there well i panicked and i freaked out and i had to basically reset myself um, my boyfriend had to let me know like you know what babe you're panicking we said that we weren't gonna panic we said that we were gonna give it to God we said that he was gonna figure it out for us and right now you were doing everything that you would normally do and we said that we weren't gonna do that so 
I calmed down and y'all, the next day I got the email saying I got approved. Or not even the email, the leasing manager called me because we had been in contact. She was just like, I'll let you know. Um, I understand your situation. Um, and at, by that point, I needed to move, like I had to move. I needed to be out my grandparents' house by the 1st of um, March and I was like you know I don't want to be needy I don't want to be a bother and she's like oh you're never a bother so boom she called me the next day she's like you gotta prove and she was so excited for me I had that was just more confirmation that they, this was meant for me so I moved you guys I'm in my brand new apartment and I'm trying my hardest not to cry because I'm about to cry <laughs> because y'all just don't even understand what I had to go through to get here. The things I had to deal with, the things I had to endure, the, the lessons I had to learn to be able to get this. I never, I never thought I would ever be able to say that I have my own apartment in my name this is my apartment i'm not scared to get mail here i'm not scared to get packages here me and my boyfriend don't have to go um have to figure out how i'm gonna get in he has his set of keys i have my set of keys well now we only have his set of keys because my irresponsible ass lost my damn keys in an uber and they just refused to bring my damn shit back but that's that's a whole nother story but yeah so i just was so I just was so grateful um i'm still so very very grateful and i'm just yeah i'm just so grateful um because without god i would not have this i'm a firm believer in having faith my favorite scripture is hebrews 11 1 and for a long time i was not living in hebrews 11 1 faith is us hebrews 11 1 faith is out. oh I can't even remember it. I can't. Mm, not remember. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. It is my favorite scripture I learned it when I was a kid. And I have always loved it. I have always remembered it because I didn't really remember too much um, from church when I was a child. Um, but that has always set and resonated with me. And I feel like everything happens for a reason the reason i remembered that was for god to say like i got you i got you we good i got you so this is for the the girl the guy the they the them who just you know really feels like life is just really kicking their tail nothing is going right your circumstances are going to make it impossible for you to be able to get the things that you want don't believe that because that's the devil that is the devil that's your the devil trying to get into your head trying to let you know like yeah because you have this you can't get that and that's not true do not let him win that is not true because i'm a living mm, i can't tell if this is old makeup or if my allergies are jacking up because my nose is definitely definitely running but do not let him win because you are not your circumstance you are not i am not my circumstance i am not my felony i am not my past I am Kiana Kennedy. <laughs> That's who I am. I am Kiana Kennedy, this amazing, bright, talented woman with all these talents that I've been gifted with. And I am just running my own race. I'm running my own race. And it was not meant for me to have all those things in the past because God said that it wasn't meant for me. I wasn't ready. And now I am. So that this is for y'all to let y'all know. Just keep pushing through. Just keep having faith keep believing keep doing everything that you're doing stay consistent just don't let these things hinder you from getting everything that you desire and that you deserve because everything that you want you can have everything that you want you can have this year we're only in month three and i so many things have been happening for me i started a series on youtube not on youtube on tiktok um it's called play his game sis because when my boyfriend moved um back home last year we wanted to find i wanted to find something where i could still kind of have a connection with my boyfriend because we're you know we're long distance and he really likes to play the game so i was like you know what lord i'm going to learn how to play this game well come to find out i like playing the game i love it i have a lot of fun when i play the game um 
and I never thought I would be this girl, but I play the game every day for hours. For hours and I made this funny Instagram story talking about play his game sis play his game because I promise you you won't you'll like it you're not it's not going you're not gonna feel bored just play his game and I did it on Instagram and I got a lot of comments on uh, the Instagram story and I was like you know what I'm gonna post this on TikTok and actually my boyfriend was like I think you should post that on TikTok he's just like I feel like you really could do numbers with that let's just let's just do an experiment so i posted it on tiktok boom i got i think i got like 60 likes i didn't get a whole bunch but i did a previous video talking about the honey pot pads and i got a lot of views for it so then i was like okay let's let's do something so i started playing this new game um with my boyfriend um my friend lexi and um my guy best friend um nunchi so we that's his nickname i never call him by his name i only call him by his name when he pisses me off um so we started doing couples gaming and we were playing this new game called dying light and anybody that knows me personally know I don't really like horror movies like that anymore as an adult. I'll still watch them, but they scare the shit out of me. Jump scare, yeah, that that's me. Um, any little thing that scare me, I have to watch like a child's movie um, or anything that makes me happy to be able to go to sleep. Um, so I played this game and I did, I wouldn't even say I did a review. I did like a, you know, I tried out this new game and this is how I feel about it. And the video did numbers, y'all it did numbers and i just was like is is this you god is this you telling me to continue doing this because i told myself in 2023 i just was gonna genuinely authentically be myself and i love anime i used to really like playing video games when i was a kid i just stopped doing it because my friends weren't playing video games my friends wanted to you know do makeup they wanted to go out they wanted to hang out they wanted to do all of this except for my guy friend so i started doing this and it's been doing really good i have grown my tiktok drastically in the past 60 days from where it was i have gained so many followers um i have this like small community on tiktok about me playing the game and it's been so fun. I've been able to enjoy hanging out with my boyfriend in our own kind of way. My mom calls it our love language. She says the video games are love language. Um, but I've been able to, you know, connect with my boyfriend on a different level uh, doing this. And it's just been really cool. It has, it has truly been, it's just been cool. And I'm, I'm just riding the wave. You know, I am accepting everything that God has planned for me because we're going to be doing big things in 2023 um i have not really done the best with my content on youtube i allow my depression to take take completely over i'm so mad because this is so strong and this is not as strong as this um but we're gonna fix that but i have you know tried my hardest to not allow my depression to take over and in the beginning of the year it took over just a lot of stuff happened i was doing really good in january and then february i was like nah ho we finna we finna get you together um so and i was doing the content i just wasn't feeling motivated to do anything so so yeah so i'm i'm here i'm back i'm gonna try my best to stay consistent um i'm no longer promising how i'm gonna be doing things because shit happens people go through things we are human and we have to i have to remember that we're human you know sometimes you're not gonna want to do a youtube video no sometimes you're not gonna want to do content sometimes you just need a break but consistency is key and i'm learning that um i've been very consistent with my tiktok series um and i was like i it wasn't even me it was my mom my mom is my manager um even if she don't want to be i literally forced her to be my manager um and she just was all like what you're doing with your tiktok great i love it but let's start doing that with your youtube like let's let's start let's start doing it because what you want to do the dreams that you have for your youtube it can happen 
And she's like, and it shows you have one video that it shows. It shows that you have the potential to do what you want to do. So I, um, so that's why we're here. I'm like, I'm not going to let circumstances and my depression take over everything. One big circumstance right now, I have no furniture. I don't have none of my stuff. All of my stuff is on the other side of Atlanta in my freaking storage unit and I have yet to get it and it has been stressing me out. I don't wanna do content because I don't have my stuff. I don't wanna use this brand new beauty. I So I haven't been wanting to do anything, but I still have my stuff. Like I don't have everything. I don't have my normal setup. But I do have stuff to be able to do content. And that was just, ooh, I felt like that was the devil trying to steer me from what God has planned for me. So here we are with this beautiful open window backdrop. And that's okay. That's okay. Everything doesn't have to be perfect. And I am learning that. I am continuing to tell myself everything doesn't have to be perfect. Just do it just do it so yeah I miss you guys a lot and I'm super super excited for what's to come I don't I have a lot of plans a lot of content I want to do and especially with my new apartment I feel comfortable in this space I'm motivated in this space because I don't feel like people talk about it enough your environment really can control how can control your mood like uh, there's something in my eye it can control how you want to do things like in my old apartment I love my apartment I'm very blessed that I was able to have it but I was never really motivated to do anything at all mainly because the critter friends that were in there just wanted to take over my dad on apartment and I wasn't I wasn't with it I was like yeah no I'd be damned if I do a video and a roach decides to crawl on the wall because they wanna they wanna make make an appearance on the Keanu La Show show. Hell no. Um so that's why I didn't do so much content there. Um I didn't do a lot of content at my grandparents' house. Um for my own personal reasons that I don't feel like getting into into. But yeah, so I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable. I can do the content that I wanna do. I have so many ideas and I can't wait for you guys to see all of these new ideas that I have I'm just doing something in my opinion I'm doing something light on the eyes I'm going to church uh, to go help out with the connect group for the kids um, just trying to stay motivated and not sit in the house all day because if I sit in the house all day I will become sad um, and then not want to do anything so I'm trying my hardest not to do that I had a huge mental breakdown the other day so I'm staying busy so that I don't think about the things that are making me sad. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. And I hope I can get a new chair because the creeks are pissing me off. Very much so pissing me off. So remember when I said it's gonna be 30 minutes or less? I lied, maybe like 35 because I'm almost done, but I'm not like almost done. Um, I'm just doing like, this isn't my everyday look just because I have a, like a real simple everyday look where I don't use foundation. Um, I just use like a little bit of concealer, contour, blush, color today. That's what I normally do. But I wanted to, you know, I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. So I really did want to do my makeup. And lately, I've been having really, really good makeup days. Like lately, y'all, my makeup has been on point. I'm gonna stop this real quick and I'm gonna come back because my video is about to end. I only get like 30 minutes on my camera, so give me one second. Okay, we're back. Um, damn, what was I talking about? That's crazy. That's wild. I'm getting old. There are times where I really will forget like mid-sentence what I'm talking about. Well. I don't remember. New topic. Um, oh, yeah. Um, I had a mental breakdown the other day, and I'm just trying not to think about it or be sad. So I was like, I want to do my makeup today, and why not do a get ready with me chit chat, kind of catch up on things, um, talk about 
you know i felt like somebody needed to see to hear what i was saying today like especially the you are not your circumstance don't allow your circumstances to control your life because i wish that eight years ago i had somebody in the same situation as me that had to go through all of these trials and tribulations to get to where they were to tell me you are not your circumstance and i'm not going to say nobody told me this because my family told me all the time like you're not your circumstance like god will figure it out for you you're not you're not you're not your circumstance like just give it to god just give it to god and i didn't want to listen i wanted to do things on my own so yeah i had to i had to go through what i had to go through to get to where i am and i call them trials and tribulations because i did go through some trials i went through i went through a lot of trials but i'm happy where i'm at like i still have my ups and downs but i'm i'm extremely extremely happy oh, that was really loud and i'm just really proud of how far i've come because <laughs> If y'all would have seen me eight years ago, y'all would have been like, girl, what is wrong with you? Like, what's going on? Like, get it together. So, yeah, that's my little, my little, my little spiel. Um, I'm trying not to talk too much, so I'm going to finish my makeup. Um, y'all, don't come for me. Don't judge me. Judge your mama. Because I'm about to blush the hell out of my face. I have been really into a real nice, bright blush i did not used to like blush before and i've been really into it i kind of want to cut before i put this blush on i kind of want to cut this contour a little bit because it's a little it's a little harsh um so yeah i'm just so excited i'm so excited for what i have planned for um my content and i actually have a review coming out this week um, I want to start doing more of those because I really do enjoy doing honest reviews and sometimes like what I'm looking for in reviews I don't never see it like on here ever like I'll go to YouTube and TikTok before I purchase anything and a lot of the products that I use just don't ain't nobody talking about them or like yeah I don't know but I want to do my own reviews because what I'm seeing online, I'm not getting. Like, it's not, it's not giving, and I need it to give. Not saying that y'all not doing good reviews because the reviews are, are are flawless. They're beautiful, but I just know that there's somebody out there that wants to see my review. So that that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm very excited for the products that I'm using. Um, I know I'm very late to the game with this product, um, but I don't care. I'm still gonna do this review. And y'all not gonna judge me, judge your mama. And I'm trying my hardest not to swear as much. Because some someone told me I swear like a sailor. And I do. And I do. I'm gonna put a little blush in here. A little blush in here. See, so yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to be uh did you just get not on the outfit, Kayla? This is what we're wearing a shirt today. Um, yeah, I'm just doing better with myself. I'm doing better being a better person because there were times where I'm just felt like you could be doing so much and you're so talented and girl, you're just, you're just wasting your life away. That's how I felt. I felt like I was just wasting my talent, all of these wonderful things that God blessed me with and I just wasn't doing anything with it. So, I'm very much so excited for what's to come. Ugh, I don't think I'm going to like my makeup. I do not think I'm going to. I'll let this sit way too long. But we're still going to. We're going to figure it out. It's going to work. It is going to work. <laughs> Oof da. this i put on that color corrector oh i didn't do i tried to do what jackiana does she puts on color corrector around her, her mouth and then she puts powder on it. i should put some powder on it to like 
upset it. I ain't do that. Because my mustache, y'all, my mustache need mustaching. She be wanting to come out all the time. And I be like, girl, settle down. This is not your day. This is not your appearance. Why do you want to be here? Settle down. So I'm trying to get, get shorty under control. Because I don't like wearing foundation no more. Because when I wear foundation, damn, Kiana, come down. When I wear foundation, you really see the stash. And everyone's always like, well, I don't see it. I don't know what you're complaining about. I see it. So because I see it, it's a problem. I don't care if y'all don't see it. I see it. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. And yeah, stop telling people. I hate it when people do this. And I didn't even plan to say this, but stop telling people, for example, I know I'm not the biggest person in the world, but I'm big. For the size that I normally am, I'm big as hell. Um, and I'm always like, like when I talk about how I want to work out and how I want to, you know, be healthier and all this other stuff, I will have dudes tell me like, oh, I think you're perfect the way you are. You're not big. You're not. I'm not telling you this to tell me that I'm not big. I know I'm not that fucking. I mean, I know I'm not that freaking big, but dang, I'm not telling you this for you to tell me you're not big. I feel like I'm big, so that's something I want to change. That is what I want to do. Stop trying to steer people away from what they want to do because you feel like they look fine the way that they are. If they don't feel like they look fine the way that they are, allow them to change what they want to change about themselves. That's all I'm saying. Because that irritates the living daylights out of me. Dudes will do that to me all the time. Especially when I'm working out at the gym. One time I was working out at the gym, this man came up to me like, I don't know what you're working out for. I think you're beautiful the way you are. I'm just all like, and I know I'm beautiful. I'm just all like, and I know I look good. But I want to be healthier and I want to look better. I'm going to elevate what I look like right now. And he was like, oh, my bad. I'm just like, yeah. I'm just like, don't do that to people. Because you don't know what that person is going through. You don't know what that person feels about themselves. And if working out and wanting to elevate themselves or wanting to lose weight makes them feel better, you telling them you look fine the way they are is not going to make them want to do better for themselves that's my ted talk that's the end of it i'm not gonna say too much i'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do too much because it makes me upset i hate it when people do that to me i really do the only only people i do not get mad at that do it to me are my my family like my boyfriend would be like i think you're beautiful the way that you are but if you want to you know if you want to lose weight if you want to do this i fully support you but just know you don't have to do it if you don't want to that's what my mom does that's what my boyfriend does that's what my family does except for one person there's like two people that be all like you need to lose weight but that's because of their old ways that's a generational curse that we're trying to get out from them. but yeah i just church and i go like where did you just come from i'm gonna say no i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna say the youtube video because i'm not washing this off i'm not washing my face again until tonight yeah and i'm trying to do more videos during the daytime so that i can have like i love the outside look and i i low-key want to change my area from here to my other window but then i won't have space um but yeah, I have a vision for how I want my um, setup to look like. Before, I used to have two Kalex uh, shelves behind me and I would have stuff in it. I think I'm going to change it to one Kalex shelf um, sitting behind me because I do like this. I love this. I love everything about this. Um, I believe Aaliyah's face has it. Who else does this? Tasha does this. Um, there's a whole bunch of other influence out there that have this i just love this it brings in a whole bunch of lighting um and then including with my lighting also you guys i'm learning uh what i do and do not like about my lighting um in my new place i'm trying to figure that out so bear with me as we tweak things if things are looking different but yeah i'm very i'm just so excited for what's to come and i know i said i was gonna talk too much because i'm rambling so i need to let me just finish my eyelashes because I don't want to put on lashes. We're going to be real 
real natural with the lashes today and lately i've been real natural with the lashes i don't wear um i don't wear eyelashes like that no more i think if i do wear them it depends on the makeup look like if i'm trying to dramatize you know because some makeup looks to pull it off you gotta put that lash on like to elevate that you gotta put that lash on so i am definitely i'm learning different makeup looks that i like i still love a full glam like this is considered a full glam to me mm, this is actually considered a soft glam to me this would be like my soft glam look um and then i have like a dramatic glam look i have an idea that i want to do or not even an idea a makeup look that i want to do that i've actually been wanting to do for us like years like two three years since i have started my youtube journey I wanted to recreate this look and I need to find the dress for it um but yeah one of my favorite movies there's a makeup look and I'm the the makeup artist who did this young lady's makeup in this movie I need to find a dress that isn't exactly like it but mimics it because I'm also trying to start I'm also trying to take more pictures so yeah, I have a vision for like the next time I do like a like a makeup look, like an actual sit down, we talk about it makeup video look. Um, so lip, damn it, lip. What I wanna do? Yeah, we're just gonna do good old faithful. My chair is pissing me off. Maybe I need to put a little WD forty on this because this thing it creaks so bad. It creaks so so bad um i still don't know how to put on lipstick or a lip liner bear with me and i'm gonna repeat it again judge your mama not me yeah this the stash is stashing My problem is I never know where my line is. And then when I do think I know where my line is, she don't be lining. in just a little bit just a little bit what is this i need to get more of this i love how this smells but if you don't jack your mother's makeup is she really your mother because i stole these from my mom and she's never getting them back every time i go to minnesota I purposely forget stuff because I know she's gonna have stuff that she don't use that I'm gonna want want to have. This rare beauty mascara, Selena, you did your thing with that baby. Mm. And I'm gonna set the face one more time. No! Mm. Ew. I don't like how that looks. There we go. Oh yeah, I really want to wear my makeup to a church because we still wear masks during uh, Sunday service and like Bible study. But when they do the connect group, or like when it's like youth, like young adult service or the, our young adult meeting last week, nobody had on a mask except for people that wanted to have on a mask. So. Okay, boom. Boom. 
Boom. Boom. All right. So this is the finished look, you guys. Um, my video went over way, way, way more than I wanted to. 15 minutes it to be exact. Um, but I wanted to finish my makeup look and I really wanted to talk to you guys. And I'm really proud of myself because I'm never able to do my eyebrows. Ew. Ew, I need to get a napkin to bring with me at all times when I do this because that, that was nasty. Um, yeah, I'm proud of myself. I'm never able to do my eyebrows and do my makeup at the same time together. I feel like I did that. But yeah, so this is the end of the video, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm super excited for what's to come. And I'll see you guys in my review video. Bye, guys. Baby, you don't know what you do to me.